Dearly beloved in Christ, you know some of the studies that I do, uh, I entitle some of them with the term true Christians. Because there should be a distinction between what is a true Christian and what is an imposter. And sometimes through that teaching, beloved, there must be a distinguishing factor of what God's children consume and what the world's uh, children consume. And one of the things, beloved, that uh, the Word of God speaks about is that true Christians are being vexed on a daily basis. Uh, the world has got accustomed to uh, this world and the way this world works and they do their very best to try to accommodate themselves to this world and long as they are comfortable and I'm talking about false Christians as long as they are comfortable they believe that they are living in a godly environment though it is ungodly the word of god says in second peter the second chapter and the ninth verse and the ninth verse it said uh the eight let's say let's begin at the eighth verse for that the righteous man dwelling among them no, let's start at the 7th verse. I'm sorry. Let's start at the 7th verse. And delivered just lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. For that righteous man dwelling among them, and seeing and hearing, vex his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. Vexed mean to disturb, to annoy, especially in a petty way, justifying their evil deeds and ways. Beloved, the enemy of our soul is trying to get you and I to agree with the filth of this world. To set our minds upon gain rather than setting our eyes upon what is of God. The enemy has put forth to the false Christians, the imposters, that if they can somehow elevate this world, to bring it to the from back into the past where they feel as though it was easier and better for them then they would have achieved greatness but beloved this world has never been great there has never been an inch of sand where there was greatness in this Earth. The only place, beloved, where greatness can be found, and that is on the hill of Calvary where Jesus Christ died for the sins of this world. Greatness cannot be found anywhere else. But the enemy will get us to believe if our circumstances change then this world is worth fighting for, it is worth living in, and it is worth dying for. But beloved, in the name of Jesus, that is a lie from Satan. Just as the word of God says that the just lot was vexed in his soul from day to day, today and it infuriated him it showed him 
that this place of Sodom and Gomorrah could not be his home any longer. So he was willing to follow the angels, the angel that was leading them out of the land. And beloved, the word of God says that his wife looked back. And I believe she looked back because she longed for the world. She longed for what she was leaving behind. Because that meant more to her than going into the land that God had for them. And beloved, there are many who have turned away from the living God. And now chooses the world. Even as Paul wrote. And Demas has forsaken me. Loving this present age or world. Beloved. Don't fall in love with this world. When it no longer vex your soul. To be here. Then you are falling in love with this world. Beloved, beware of that love. Be blessed in Jesus' name.